don't give up on yourself. I know sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's dark. Sometimes you feel like nobody understand you. It's fine. If you understand yourself and you know what you're doing, keep going. And then the day is going to make sense one day. What's up, guys? Welcome to the House of Clay podcast, the number one podcast on culture. Where we talk about Web3, music, art, fashion, filmmaking. Filmmaking is going to be actually one of the main things we talk about today. Um, I'm your host, Jeff Castillo, Digital Jeff, and my co-host next to me, Rolando Sanchez. And we got a special guest today. We got Gabriel Alexis. What's up, Gabriel? How are we doing today? Uh, I'm doing great. Thank you for having me, guys. Yeah, excited to be here. We're at Ramble Studios in New York City on 21st Street, uh, and we're going to get into that as well in a little bit. Uh, but I'm wearing the shades today because we got a extremely powerful, powerful light, one of the most powerful lights I've ever seen. Um, this is, this is uh, exciting, man, being here at the studio. And uh, we also got the New York City environment. I don't know if you guys can hear the background. There's a background noise. <laughs> yeah. They decided to start uh, construction right as we were about to start filming, and uh, we just got to roll with it. You're in New York City. That's true. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. So we got a special guest, uh, founder of Learn Filmmaking, Gabriel Alexis today. Um, we've been, we've con- when did we connect? We connected in 2019. 2019. Yeah. Wow. And it's been a minute now. So this is long overdue. Yes. Uh, it was like three, three years. Okay. Three years. Uh, 2020 doesn't count. So it All might right. be like two and a half, <laughs> two years. That's so true. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, I wanted to get to know, uh, meet you in person because specifically because um, you're doing something that I've done like in a grassroots level, and you're doing it like in a like a big scale in a big scale, which is building the biggest filmmaking community in the world. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Guys. So I want to get into I want to get into that. Uh, um, but before we get into learn filmmaking, um, I want to talk about you, man. Like you know, just you and, and and your your come up story and your how you started, you know, because you're also well, you're also a producer. Yes, yeah. I am. So, that, that's what I do when I'm not doing learn filmmaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you, how long you been in the space in general? Like, just give us a give us a little I, background. All right. So I've been in the space for 13 years professionally. Yeah. I nice. started when I actually started when I was 16 years old. But I always had a camera in my hand when I was a little kid. Um, I didn't know I was going to actually be a filmmaker, you know, I was just more like, all right, I'm doing events for my, my family, like Christmas, New Year's. I was the one. Oh, you're the guy. Yeah, I was yeah. the one. That was the one that. And if you if you showed up like without your camera, they'd be like, why did you bring your camera? <laughs> right, right. Or they would be like, hey, we got a camera for you. <laughs> and they'd be like, you know, Gabriel's always with, behind the camera. And I'm always, always curious about, you know, people and my family, actually. I would be like, hey, how are you? I would just go up to them with the camera. And, and put, put the camera in their face and they're yeah. like yeah they're like and i'm i just asked them like oh, so tell them what's your name and they're like oh oh my name is and then i'm like well and i would just always like interview them it yeah. was so nice. funny yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, but it was fun f- because honestly they were like i was just like because it's you know in the beginning it's like it was a camera right and it was like a, a technology and i was just like oh this is so cool and i was trying to figure things out so i always been like try to be curious what's you know the how to use a camera so at 16 years old um i had got an internship for at the educational video center at the video transcriber and one day i see the producer um she she walks in with a bunch of students with camera tripods and that time i didn't know it was a tripod and the cameras that we're using i was just like wow this looks so amazing but I was I was there for as an intern hmm. to do the video transcribing, not not to be you know be a part of this. So I actually asked the producer. I was like, oh, how can I be a part of what you guys are doing? And yeah. she actually was telling me like, well, you could volunteer and come on the weekends if you want to. And honestly, I said, okay, I'll do it. Came on the weekends. I learned everything. She, you know, she basically taught me how to what, you know, how to use a tripod, how to open a tripod, yeah. how to put a little, you know, I was using the camcorder at that time, and yeah. and it was so fun for me. And then one day she was like, "You good at this? You should do this." Mm. And I'm like, "I don't know, I don't know." And you then, sure? <laughs> yeah. And then one day, honestly, um, we did a documentary about uh, stop and frisk about something that was going on in New York City and still happening, but less now. And 
one day I got interviewed by NBC News and that's oh, when wow. that's when it popped. I was like, okay, they are interested with what I'm doing. So I was like, okay, now let me let me get into let me get into like the whole world of filmmaking and then I got into editing. Um then four years later I went to school in Albany, New York. Um then I got an internship at NBC Universal working at working with the you know, the Mari show. Well, yeah, the Mari yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. So I started working with different shows, and I started seeing all the, all the inside how TV shows run and how fake it is. You know, not everything you see <laughs> staged. is yeah, everything is staged. So yeah. I started seeing that world of TV, and I at that time I actually opened up my, my production company called Ghana Pictures Entertainment. And it was basically work that t work, continue to work at NBC Universal or just follow, just go with Ghana Pictures and just go entrepreneurship and just go. And I said, let me just go Ghana Pictures. Let me just do my thing. And then I get it's and then I got into weddings and just got into oh, yeah you went the wedding yeah route. I went the wedding right? I think, I think yeah. yeah there's more money there I was going I was actually was going for the money I was like oh man I, they're not paying me what I'm looking for. and the TV the yeah. TV side I was like let me just do my weddings honestly it was paying great and then um, after that I got the opportunity to work as a production assistant at a show called The Punisher season yeah. two. Okay. and episode 12 to be exact and honestly that was such a great uh experience i got to meet so many people in the industry in that side of you know how to make you know tv shows also like and you know getting to know actors the assistant director and i learned a lot from them a lot so it's a different world and from there i just honestly started i started working more into like the the field and that's when learn filmmaking one day in my car to be honest i was just like i know so many people but people don't know me and yeah. how can i create a community around me that i could actually support them we could learn from each other we could network we could just grow together and it was just so random i was in my car and you know i believe in god a lot and i was just like okay god speak to me I want to come up with a name. I want to come up with something that is catchy, something that is actually like somebody could just go and be like, this is what it is. I don't have to explain it what it is. Yeah. And I love to learn. So I said, I love to learn and I love filmmaking. And I honestly, it's so, it's so yeah, I know. And I was like, learn filmmaking. I put them together. Luckily, that time Instagram wasn't as like as popping as now. I took advantage of that. What year was this? Uh, 2018. 2018. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and it, it's it, you know it was they, they they had some traction there, but it wasn't like like it is now. Like yeah. everybody's on it now. See, see, see. And then after that, um, I started the page in January. Thank you for asking. January. Uh, no, I'm sorry. February second, 2018. Okay. And then I hit 10k in October 14, 2018, and it was history from there. And it's been a beautiful four years. I met so many people like you guys, yeah. you know, and it's just it's just been amazing just knowing that I could be there for somebody when and give a platform for filmmakers and creators that don't have the voice, that don't have the opportunities that a lot that, of yeah. people don't have, unfortunately. But it's okay though, like because this is why I'm here and this is why I'm trying to do it, trying to push, you know, trying to push yeah. people that that don't have that, you know. Yeah, man. And also, it's like one of the things I noticed is that you do, you also post a lot of like educational content. Yes, education. So, content. like, if you're new to filmmaking, correct. Obviously, learn filmmaking is <laughs> the platform to go to, you know, to get insight of how people are doing it. And a lot of the behind the scenes that you're po posting, um, these are from top producers around the world. Yes. You know? There are people from all around the world that are here, like, at first, when I started the page, I would look for content. I would look for creators, and as I still look for them, I st but the thing is now it's more like they actually provide the content. They are reaching out to me. They're um, they're because they see what I post, and they were just saying like they kind of get the, the they know what I'm going for. Education, mm -hmm. education is like because a lot of us don't have you know I know YouTube University out there yet, but the thing is sometimes it's like. It's hard to look through what it was like. What what type of content you're looking for, right? Yeah. And it's like 
my page basically shows you not just education it shows you the people that actually are doing it and then you could actually look them up you know look them up and yeah. most of the time they're going to respond to you that's why i tell people you should reach out you know network because at the end of the day the people that i'm sharing i'm actually building relationship with them and they're there for a reason they're there to educate they're there to help you they have the same mindset i do so that's why i like to put myself in the type of you know type of crowd of people that like to help others um and one of the things too is that i don't you know i like when people are actually sharing knowledge you know i don't like to hold knowledge i like to just share and honestly if i had a page like i like i like learn filmmaking and when i was coming up yeah i think life would be a little easier to be honest mm -hmm. because yeah because it's like it's there you know what you're looking for you come up with so many ideas so many tips i get inspired every day when people are just sharing their work with me yeah. and i'm like this is amazing wow. you know <laughs> yeah and you mentioned uh, i think yesterday when we had we were having lunch you mentioned something like on the lines of you created something that it was kind of like for you right yeah it, yeah, it, was, I, it was, yeah, was for you so something it was for it was for me meaning in the sense that i was doing it for to, that, cre to create community right yeah. but i was doing it for me in the sense that okay how can i basically build like people that are like-minded like myself and yeah. i want to be involved exactly yes. so when i say when I, so when i say you i'm referring to like you and me like in rolando we're, yes. you know we're, there's there's a million of us out there yes. millions and millions so you're, yeah. you're making something for us at yes. the end of the day. so that's yes. that's kind of like for the community for the community mm -hmm. and i think like for web3 one thing me and rolando have have uh noticed is that community is everything, is everything. yes you know it's not about me anymore it's not about you it's about us and how how do we support each other how can we learn from each other because yeah. we've all been through like different walks yeah. of life right some of us go farther some of us just getting started but in some sense we all are on the same page yes so it's super awesome how you're putting together all these people and like getting connected was there anything available like that for you when you were starting i know you mentioned you were in school you had a couple of internships but like when you were younger did you have friends that you would like talk to about about like filmmaking and production no, and stuff like that it was so hard no no yeah no, it was so i felt like, that's why i felt lonely I yeah felt like i was lonely that's why i created this community because i was like i'm lonely i like came and talked to my girlfriend about it and it's okay because yeah. it's like or it's like she's looking at me like oh nice you know it's not, <laughs> <laughs> so i know you know it's hard to like to actually talk about filmmaking stuff and i'm you know i love movies i love yeah. this is this is an amazing world that we, in the industry that we're in you know we create art we create images and this is beautiful that we, what we do yeah what are some of your inspirations like uh growing up what, what was uh like maybe a film director your or some of the f your favorite films so to be honest um one of my favorite fr films is the pursuit of happiness mm. yeah i just love the story behind how a man just you know from the beginning how he believed in he was so focused and he believed in himself so much and he went through all the struggles yeah and he kept going and going and going he had a family he just kept going and kept going and he, he never stopped and then he made it he made it to a point that it's like and he still he he stood humble like he stood yeah. he wasn't he didn't change he was just like he was a fighter and i could really see that like I could see myself in that too. Like when yeah. I see it, I cry all the time. So that's why I'm like, is it? it yeah, so I want to make movies. Uh, like you're that. making emotion. You're, uh, I'm thinking about like when you when you just said that. Like, dude, I just you, you just went let, deep down the rabbit hole. I you like I like is this guy talking about me or what? I was gonna say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, family just keeps going, keeps going. Yes, yeah. So you know. that's your favorite movie story wise. What about like visually, like cinematically? What's one of your favorite Ooh, movies? Visually. Wow, there's so many. It's a hard question. I know. Yeah, it's a really hard question. <laughs> it is to uh, like to think about it right now. Um, Top Gun's the latest one Top that Gun I saw. Is hot. Ooh, Top Gun. Hot. Did you see Top Gun? No, not yet. But oh, okay, I no, the no, old one. No spoilers yeah. here. <laughs> no, no, not yet. Not yet. No, or the, is it similar to the old one, or is it? I, would, I mean, I love Top Gun. Was one of my, one of my favorite movies growing up. Yeah. Um, but this one, man, I had to go see it twice. Like, oh wow! I saw it one night with Rolando yeah. and then I, I told my kids the next day they were like hey y'all want to go see Top Gun <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're like yeah let's go I'm like alright let's uh, so we end, I ended up seeing back to back and I still wanted to see a third time but just, you know no, there's no more time but it's one of those films that 
you 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 appreciate the filmmaking part of it. Yes, 100%. you know from not only the obviously the acting and the storyline all that, but the way it was produced. You're like trying to figure out like how did they set up these cameras or how did they how to get the, how did they get these angles or you know how are they, uh, you know because it's it's and I haven't really looked into the behind the scenes of it. Which oh, you, I have it on my page. You have? Oh. Yes. Okay, so. That's why if you guys yeah. haven't seen it, it's on my page. Yeah. And that's why I kind of I kind of know how they did it. Okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> you see, so. Learn filmmaking, bro. Yeah, learn filmmaking. <laughs> so, you know, it's one of those films that has inspired me recently to keep, you know, just curious about filmmaking. Because you get to a point in filmmaking, I think, I think we all go through this to where we learn kind of enough and we stay in the little comfort zone. Mm-hmm. And then you then you're like then you use those tools that you've developed and you kind of stay there for a long time but like once in a while you'll have either a creator like either it's either a youtuber or it's it's like a in this case you know top movie top gun yeah top gun type movie we got um tom cruise which is on another level oh my god and he does something that's like damn how did they how did they do this film how was it possible they do this film? Like they're flying these jets, you and know? they are really flying these jets. It's not yeah. no VFX. It's not that's what VFX. I'm saying, <laughs> man. That's literally like how did they pull it off? <laughs> I love it. It's just yeah. and I love the fact that they oh the BTS is amazing because you're actually seeing it. it's like it's actually happening. These guys are actually flying these jets, right? Yeah. And yeah. it's like you're like whoa, and it's like they're going so fast, and you're recording this. It's like and you can see their expression. This is real expressions, yeah. and uh, like you said, how do you? How do you do that? And like, I feel like filmmaking, we're taking it to another level. Like people are pushing boundaries. People are just doing things that are like, I think, cause we're so creative, right? We are re- creators. We, there's, everything is just like, nothing is hard, it's complicated, right? We just be like, okay, How can we, we make it we're going to make this happen somehow, <laughs> yeah. somewhere, right? Yeah. So and that's what I love about filmmaking and the way we, things we do. Um, by the way, I just thought about the movie. Uh, one movie that actually I actually enjoyed. I don't, I'm not sure if you guys seen it. It's called, if I'm not mistaken, it's called, everywhere every time at the same time yeah I play something like that around the line right yeah i just, I just watched that film too CCC. Yeah, oh so. my god it made my brain go crazy yeah it made yeah. me think about life no, <laughs> i think it's called everything everywhere all the time yes yes that's, you got that's it. the one i think i think that's how it's called yeah I, I thought that was gonna be the film of the year oh my god and then i saw top gun no. <laughs> <laughs> it changed, it changed, it changed like, all right we're gonna, we're gonna scratch it <laughs> put it in second place but yeah yes. that film uh from the storyline to you've seen the cinematography the cinematography oh you know the way it the concept itself you know like it the first 20 minutes you're kind of confused yes it is very confusing it's very fast paced mm-hmm. and um but i took my kids which i kind of regret for there was one scene i, I know. like cover your eyes <laughs> everybody i know i know yeah there was that was that one crazy scene but i know, the I know what the, scene you're talking about yeah you know what you're talking about <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. i was like whoa what's <laughs> happening right now <laughs> i didn't even want to watch it i was like whoa what's going on and i'm trying to hide my eye. Oh, man it was really disturbing but yeah. anyway this is a great movie if you guys haven't seen it everybody that's listening it's a great movie yeah yeah, oh, sure. you, you mentioned yesterday we were talking that a lot of the people, a lot of the like posts that you post, well, yeah. everything you mentioned, people submit these to you, right? Yeah, they like do. they send you the content ready to be published. Yes. Um, have you got any submissions from the movies we just talked about, Top Gun and so, anywhere in between? Um, the, like behind the scenes. So the Top Gun, mm-hmm. I it's actually they, uh, it's basically you know it, it's share. Everybody just reshare stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So that's that's more. I don't get content from. Like directly from anybody who was, yeah. Okay. It, but it all depends, though. For example, like we do have directors, like okay, that uh, well, cinematographer uh, mm-hmm. from Red Notice. Okay. So Red Notice, the cinematographer that shot Red Notice on Netflix, that actually was one of the f- well, one, one, it was on top top one on Netflix and that t- and that week. And luckily, we got him on our live. Wow. The cinematographer. It was yeah. amazing because we asked him how he basically. Um, there was a shot. Uh, that, you know, have you seen Red Notice? Uh, with the I rock I, I know what you're talking about yeah i've seen my, the name my wife my it. wife and my kids seen it okay so have you seen the trailer i'm not sure if you've seen the trailer when the drone is like coming in and it's like you see the drone and it's just flying and the, that's the beginning shot i'm not sure if you've seen it but that shot is very difficult because it's like the way he, they just came like they just the drone how it's it, that's the first shot and then it basically it basically the rock is it's, it's like right behind the car and then the rock opens the door it's such a long shot and they how it per, they perfect everything every yeah. little bit and you guys hadn't seen the interview 
it's honestly amazing how he, they did it and it's so much planning and we got the chance to speak to him and honestly get the get the opportunity to actually get in in his head why he went with that shot and yeah. it was amazing you know it was just you know so through him we got a few movies um not just oh, behind the scenes mm -hmm. like through like red notice uh the bliss on amazon prime okay have you Heard seen it? It? the bliss yeah so he worked it. he worked on that one awesome movie it's another oh. movie that will think make you make you think um and that's what, one of the two movies that he basically he done a lot more uh, but it's just amazing to have people like him to to that see the community and see what i'm doing with the community He's a big supporter of the community, and he's always open to always, you know, be a part of anything. That you I, you said he doing. came on on the live. Yeah, he came on. Uh, do you live. do that often, like with the community? Yes, or? I do okay. that a lot, and I and not just and I, and I just I don't only bring people that are professionals that is in the industry doing you know big movies, big mm -hmm. TV shows. I always try to bring people that are just you know starting, starting out. out. Yes, yeah. because it's it's like I don't I don't think there's something out there like that you could put you know people that are upcoming filmmakers because it's i understand um it's sometimes it's like the people that i bring they even they were like oh why me i'm like why you because you're very talented and you're creative and i see a lot in you and they just get like surprised i'm like yeah i see you're you're the future you know and then the day you're the future and i could see that and it happens to be that because I, I could see when somebody's so passionate and has a purpose and just do yeah. they love what they do so i always try to you know be like they you know i always say uh i'll be like learn filmmaking from the world's best filmmakers so they're like oh so i'm the i'm, I'm part of the world's best filmmakers like yeah you, 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 you feel like that you feel like you're the best yes you're the best because it's true though at the end of the day we are we are our own like we critique our own work, right? Yeah. And we think we're not doing the best, the best work. But it's like it's okay. I'm a perfectionist, and I always feel like every time I'm giving work to a client or I'm doing something that it's like I'm working for with a client. I feel like I could, I could have done it better. I yeah. would just be like, oh, I could do this better next time. I could do this better. It's okay, and you know. And then the day is just learning every day, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Has, have you had like any success stories where like uh, you feature somebody? upcoming and then they just take off or oh yeah um there there is a colorist um really good friend of mine now um his name is kazi and kazi kazi yeah he's a colorist yeah kazi he's og yeah, yeah he he honestly um started he had less than ten thousand followers and honestly his passion made him, like he's he's where he's at because of his passion you know i was just a little help just a little help but everything he did it was just him you know the content was him he just knew he knew that he had that in him to teach other people what he knew um he saw there wasn't uh, a a platform a world that actually that he could help other creators so he saw what i was doing and i was just like hey man i see what you're doing too let's work together and at, th at that time honestly learn from making had maybe 100k and then right now Learn from making has 600 over 600k yeah wow. but it's like it's been it's been like a journey so at the same time when kazi uh when we spoke then brought him to my to the live he got inspired and he started actually doing lives and then we started working together wow. and it was such a it was it's, it's a beautiful relationship that i have with him honestly it's like it's something that i cherish because he saw what i was doing i saw what he was doing yeah and i don't i don't i don't care about the number i care about the person you know yeah. i care i want to i want to invest in the person i yeah. want because I, I, I see I, I saw i saw what he could do and i was like oh man you're gonna be huge yeah and now he's one of the top influencers in yeah just in film in, in general in film space yeah, yeah. Film space. Film space. yeah he he does he he because he does great work and also he builds relationships. He actually takes the time to talk to his community, like I do. I talk yeah. to my community. I comment back to people. You know, I try to be there when people need my support. And I always, he does the same. And I think this is why me and him is doing, you know, doing such a great job in the community and talking to people that are just not, you know, they don't have the knowledge to do what he does or the knowledge that, or well, what I do, but I'm open to like share. You know, I'm open if you ask, 
I, I tell you, you know, it's like it's not it's not a secret. It's just, you know, I did it this way. And you could take what I know and just do it your own way. You know, it's fine. Yeah. But yeah, Kazi is honestly one of one of those guys that I am so proud of because he's doing amazing. Yeah. And I just know that he's gonna keep going. He has an amazing course, and also also he just doesn't only have a course. He has a YouTube channel that's doing amazing. That he just been putting amazing content that is free so you want you are colorers out there you guys want to get into the whole you know how to see how you could change you know just because of color you could actually change the mood of a scene so through him like you could learn so much and yeah he he's go, he's go by the cos man on the topic of like your your community uh, i know yes. we mentioned instagram because that's where it's at that's where it's based um a lot of this is virtual have you experienced talking to your community in person yes and, yeah? and like in real life in real life yeah i actually had an event um in florida and i didn't know that there was gonna you know how many people is gonna come from my community yeah um and it was uh the community that it was another community so because you know i connect myself with other communities as well okay and it was the, his community his name, his name is jose javi ferrer he's a, an amazing director um it's called creative film academy okay and it but his courses are are in, well, in it, his community is more spanish see si. yeah <laughs> so it's more like um hispanic not Spanish, it's Hispanic. Hispanic. Yeah, yeah. so they, um, it, it, it basically, I loved it because it basically, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm Hispanic as well. So I love what he was doing in yeah. the Hispanic community. And I, he basically invited me there. And little did I know my community was going to be a part of this here too. Like, you know, people from all around the world was going to be a part of the his community as well. So it was such an amazing experience to actually meet some of my community members that are actually our supporters that have been supporting me for four years telling me how i wow i can't even say it like it's so amazing how i impacted their lives and yeah i don't even want to talk about it because i'm getting like yeah, uh, yeah it's that's just beautiful amazing. bro yeah. that's literally like that's probably one of the most rewarding things and i'll speak on your behalf um yeah because you you we uh, spent some time talking about this yesterday and um you know just having one is like in person having somebody express themselves to you um how you've impacted their lives but also for you you like you're you've been alone on this journey like and we we all kind of know how it is like when you're built when you're building a brand building a community like you're not monetizing on the like you're not charging people to feature like uh no. maybe people, uh, right now we're talking about um kazi the kazi yeah Kazi. we're, we're yeah, talking about yeah we're talking about kazi like uh, we didn't mention it. You didn't mention it, but you weren't charging them to, no, like, post this at all. You know, so, everything was just so anybody you feature, you're doing this out of your like means. You yeah, know, you're, you're, out, of, you're, out of my heart. I just like, yeah, out of your heart, yeah. man. And then so so hearing it from people, how you impacted, I can only imagine what you felt and you know how how um, yeah, man, how rewarding it is as yeah, well. Yeah, it is. It is because I I first sometimes I sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough. And I feel like I sh I could do more. Yeah. And and when when I hear from my community that they are actually getting so much from what I'm doing, just even even though like I I feel like we inspire each other because they inspire me. Even they don't even know they inspire me. They even yeah. they make me go like they make me go like I keep going because of them. And they, you know they reach out to me and 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 they just so appreciative and they're like oh man just because of one post i got this job opportunity at dubai and you know and it's like and when i hear stories like that like you got a job opportunity through learn filmmaking he's like yeah man oh my god and i'm just like whoa that's that's amazing and then it kept going it kept going like oh i met this director the cinematographer because of you i know this color is because of you now i could just reach out to people that I know because this person is here and I never knew this person was in India. Now I could just all go and reach out to them. And it's like, oh, wow. And I'm doing this just sharing people work. And, you know, I'm not, yeah. you know, I didn't know how, what was that? It was so powerful, right? And when I'm hearing stories like that and then I'm getting to know people in person and they just know 
what I've been doing for the past four years, I just look at them like, wow, I'm here following your story and you're following learn from making and everything that I'm doing. You're there on my lives. You're there just yeah. because you know that it's like it's on, 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 the, on Fridays when I go live, I go live at 1130 Eastern time every Friday. Basically, I, do, I go there to just bring people on. If you're not learning from me, you're going to learn from my business partner you're not gonna learn from a business partner you're gonna learn from the person that i brought on the guest <laughs> it's you're gonna learn <laughs> you're gonna yeah, learn somehow yeah. some way so this is why i love what i do and and honestly this is they keep me going yeah, yeah. and the beautiful part is that you're you know filmmaking is a it's, it's a it could be a lonely road and you're yeah. bringing people together um, it is lonely that's yeah. why in the beginning i feel like like am i doing something is this, is this working is, is this is and it's like a lot of people don't understand what you're doing in the beginning until eh, something beautiful happens and you just you start getting traction and you start getting people like eyes is on you and people just be like lfn learn filmmaking network oh oh yeah yeah i see i know about them and it's like it's just a word of mouth and everybody's just like yeah yeah i follow these guys oh yeah yeah i, I know about them and it's just it's been like that and it's because the relationship that i'm building it's because i take the time i actually take the time to listen so you know if if i could help you i will help you that's it yeah and it's one thing um that what was what, what would it be one thing you su suggest to somebody that wants to get involved within the community like an upcoming filmmaker you know in the middle of nowhere no connections in their t in their town what do you suggest to so them? if they come across learn filmmaking to be honest you know i feel like the best way to connect with other filmmakers is it it sounds so niche but like just reach out you might get a hundred no's or you might get you know you never know you you might just get that yes the first time you reach out to somebody but i'm just saying like just take that risk you know take the risk because at the end of the day it's like okay but don't 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 just say you know i tell people like don't say hey you know just say you know if you're gonna message somebody say hey my name is it my name is this and this is what i do i love what you do you're inspiring you know that little support you know people like that and people don't think about it like that people be like oh no nah, i don't want to be annoying oh i don't want i don't want to look i don't want to seem that i you know i'm like like i need that person i mean it's, it's like sometimes you just gotta get out of your head just do it because at the end of the day this industry is about who you know and yeah. and it's who you know and then it's who you know and if it's who you know basically it's like okay because if you want to it's hard it's, it's not hard to get in the industry because it's easier now to get in this industry now than ever, to be honest, now as a creator. But it's like if you're trying to get into like more into TV shows and movies, like there is people out there that actually are ready to, you know, answer your question and, and are ready to help you. So networking is one of the first thing you should do in my community. It's just reaching out to people. Don't be scared. Also, reach out to me. Tag me on on your post on your stories tag me i'm always looking at it i'm always watching mm -hmm. if i don't see it the first week or the second week keep going i know people that have been tagging me for the past two years and i just got the chance to look at their posts like recently yeah and uh -huh. and they're like wow i've been following you for two years and i just and i'm like hey i'm sorry i haven't seen it i get over thousands thousands of messages every day so i am so sorry i apologize they understand but i still got the chance to see your work and then i could see the pattern right because yeah. in the thing is in the messages i could actually see all the time that you've been tagging me right yeah so i start seeing that and i start seeing how eager you are and how you want to you know it's like you want to connect and that's when i reach out and i'm like hey and what you do and what what do you do and it's like you never know it's just be consistent and persistent just keep going and don't stop like i honestly tell people don't stop even though when you feel like damn because when you stop you don't even know you might be like honestly almost close to that opportunity that you have been looking for yeah. and then you're you're stopping before <laughs> like it, oh man just keep going just keep going that's amazing <laughs> man so like the people you follow on learn filmmaking right okay, yeah yeah so how do you go about so how do you go about following the people you follow on learn filmmaking the account okay so everybody to be honest that i follow okay not everybody let's say 98 percent of the people that i follow on learn filmmaking because i follow a lot of people over 2,000 people right and 
a most you know a lot of most pages most likely they're not gonna follow a lot of people but i follow them because the thing is i want to get i want to community i want to be involved in what you're doing i want to see i want to see my timeline to be feel a full feel of like filmmakers or things that i like to see and people that i believe in and most of the time the people that i'm following on learn for making are cat like you know um like rental houses um rental houses like like people that actually you know like connect with um filmmakers that are are starting out that i believe in uh also people that are the relations that i've built to be honest like most of the people that i follow there are people that i st- spoke to or i, I came yeah. across or we work together something and i just feel like through the followers that i that i follow on learn filmmaking you should look through that and yeah just see <laughs> you know i think that's a great way to connect because that's what i that's what i've done before like uh-huh. i'm looking for somebody i'm like i'll go through your followers i'm like oh there's a bunch of filmmakers here so <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah so i'm like if I, I need i need to work i'm let's say we're going to be shooting in la i'm like i'm trying to find somebody in la i'll go through like okay if if gabriel already <laughs> is vouching for him they're already like you know it's like they already have good rapport yes so now let's figure out like you know how i can connect but yes and and you know i'm trying to you know learn from making the instagram pages it's only one piece of the puzzle right yeah. and i feel like this is going to be definitely like that i trying to figure out something that i could give more to the community that could, they could showcase i do showcase their work on my instagram but i wanted to do it in a bigger scale and i want people yeah. to see your work like and on, on, you know i know my community is worldwide from all around the world but it's to the point that it's like it's you could actually see it on it like in a streaming service is that if, in one day so that would yeah. be dope yeah what is um do you want to tease a little bit about what you have envisioned for learn for making or you're still keeping that private because i know you shared some of that with us yesterday some, some alpha so yeah some <laughs> alpha, <a> alpha. <laughs> do you wanna... yeah sure why not um so i'm hoping and soon enough uh, that i will have a streaming service that i could actually provide to filmmakers and creators from all around the world that they could the same thing the same concept that you see on instagram but on a bigger scale that i could j- definitely could have their work their content their tv shows or movies uh, education but everything that you're going to see going to have behind the scenes going to have something educational that you could actually learn how they did that shot how how was it done because you're watching these shows and you're watching these movies and most of the time they don't have how they made the movie yeah. and i'm seeing that people love how something is made yeah so i'm trying to bring something different to the table that it's like okay this is this is interesting but how they made it and then you could go and watch it how they made it and most of the time the the people that i'm actually going to be providing this platform are going to be the you know upcoming filmmakers and people that are actually doing their you know they're doing their thing but they don't have a like a platform to yeah. So they could, they, people could go and go see their work because it's like, you know, it's like if you see all these streaming services, the streaming, the streaming platforms out there like Netflix, Hulu, they're amazing. Amazon Prime, they're, they're doing a great, you know, a great thing. Amazon Prime actually are, they are, they are helping a lot of upcoming filmmakers, I yeah. see. And I like that. So that's one of the things that I'm working on, but there's so much more. I don't, you know, I don't want to say too yeah, much. Yeah, don't, don't say too much, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think, I think. The, I think the main the main message is for up, if you're an upcoming filmmaker, get connected with Learn Filmmaking. Yes. Um, make sure you're participating. You know, even like for me, like I've I've connected with other people just by commenting or replying. I'll read the comments and then I'll reply to somebody that said something about. Yes. And then we become friends, and then now I have a connection in a different part of the world. Wow. So that's, you know, it's like that's you know. awesome. I'm, <laughs> let me add to that. By the way, I just thought about something. So I do something that is called this post is for you. Okay. Yeah. So it's a picture. If you guys go right now on my Instagram, you go. It's a picture that says "This is for you." And honestly, the post is about what's your name, what do you do, where you're from, and what your what are what are your goals? Like, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to? And honestly, the response every time it's amazing. It's amazing. The yeah. people take their time to actually write 
you know, paragraphs about their life. In about, the comments? In the comments. If you yeah, go, yeah. go see, if you see this, it's just, it's amazing. So, but the thing is, they're connecting with each other. Mm. You're seeing the same thing you're saying. They're liking it. Yeah. They're they replying. literally replying like, oh my God, this is awesome. I am from the same place. Oh, we should meet up. Oh, I am from here too. Oh, yeah. we should meet up. And I'm like, um, and I'm not even a part of this. I'm, I'm, I just put, I just posted it and they just hear everybody just commenting from each other. It's crazy that you just remind me because yeah. I do this once every month. Mm. I post that once every month. I make sure it's because honestly, this post is like people feel like they're connecting. You know, sometimes it's like I'm just posting, but they are just like, okay, these are real people. There's people that actually, that the followers are actually responding to it. So it's amazing how everybody's connecting with each other through just one post. And I do it once once a month. And that's one of the things that I do. You know, you guys, I, I said to you guys, I do lives. You know, I try to do as much as I can. Yeah. But, you know. And on, on the live, going back to the lives that you mentioned right now, I know you mentioned earlier, but just so you guys can understand is like when he goes live, it's not just him by himself. He brings you on. Yes. So the entire community can see you. Yes. And then you publish the live stream that is now hosted on the page. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yes. So that way you get involved guys. Like, come on, it's the, the it's we right didn't there. have this right. when that, when we were starting, right. You know, I'm, t I'm 10 years older than you. So it, when you said that it was hard for you, imagine how, how it was for me, like no YouTube, like I lived in a small city in Texas where like there's no filmmakers. And there wasn't social media. Then. There was not social media. Wow. So everything you learned was by trial and error. Yes. And, um, you know, the, the, the growth would happen like very slow. Mm -hmm. Like you see your videos from one year to the next year, like they're almost the same. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but now you can like in one year, I've seen like, for example, we spoke about Sam Calder yesterday. Sam Calder became a, an amazing filmmaker in less than a year. Like yeah. people, people think he took like many, many years. No, he, that's how, that's how applied he was. Like he applied himself so much to his craft yeah. that in, with the resources available, you can condense time oh and you God. can become an amazing filmmaker. You're not going to be, you know, obviously your best, you st you're still can continue growing, but you can right. become somebody that can get the biggest jobs in the world in a short period of time. And you got to believe that. And you, if you can apply yourself and learn every day then you can get to that level. Right, and we, we spoke about this yesterday too, when we said, when you're, when you stop learning, like when you, that's it, like it's, it, it, you shouldn't stop learning, you should keep going because honestly, it keeps you fresh, it keeps you creative, it keeps you, honestly, there's so much to learn, this industry is changing every day as we speak and it's like, there's so much and I'm always, I'm always happy to be a student, I'm a student of life, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, amen, bro. And that's the whole ethos from learn filmmaking. Just keep learning, man. <laughs> Just keep learning. Yeah. Keep rolling. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's talk yeah. a little bit about Web3. Uh, what, what, was, what would you want to ask Roland on Web3? So a lot of the stuff that you've been talking about, community building. Yeah. Bringing people together, interacting with each other, um, hosting these spaces. Dude, it's very relatable to what's going on in Web3. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday we were talking and the whole time I was like, dude, this guy's ready for Web3. Yeah. Um, are you interested in Web3? Do you know anything about Web3? Like, what are your... I am. And very, we're not holding you accountable for anything. Like no, this. I am very interested. Okay. But I am, I do know that I need to learn more about course, the, yeah. the space um, because it is changing every day. Mm -hmm. And I know that it's coming. So I want to be in the front line. I want to just make sure that I am able to inform myself mm -hmm. And then I could inform my community what's happening, what's going yeah. on. I'm already talking about NFTs, and I'm not that familiar about NFTs, so, mm -hmm. but it's something that it's coming. And yeah. it, well, not coming, it's happening, because it's happening right it's now. Happening it's now. just that a lot of people are not informed. So, you know, through you guys, I seen your podcast, and I see, and I've learned so much just because, you know, those little snippets that you guys put on Instagram. <laughs> I'm yeah. like. Oh, this is very interesting, and you guys make it interesting. You hey, guys, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. really cool. It's cool to we watch. Had the, we had the dramatic music. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. I yeah. love it. But I think you know, it's, you should do uh, learn Web three. That's, a, that's a, another account. <laughs> yeah. Check the handle. I know what you had yeah. before you put before you post this. <laughs> before yeah. somebody take it. Yeah. So, but yeah, that, I think for especially for filmmakers and artists, Web three is a good way. For for 
you to fund have your community uh, help you fund like a project yeah um a lot of the like the very like low-hanging fruit of, of the space you can come up with an nft collection that's kind of like a kickstarter and now mm -hmm. instead of like you having to book xyz jobs that you're really not interested in film filming you can now write your own script for a short film and then say you need five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars you can put out a collection that will fund that film you know that's that, amazing that's amazing so i think that's like something that could be easily expressed and maybe we could do like a free course or something that that'll be available for filmmakers yeah and i feel like that's something that could help so many people so yeah many, so many people out there and it's also a space that like when i heard about it at first i was like okay it was so hard to understand it and then then i saw it like you just said like what what can you do even with movies right like yeah. even if you do a movie like can you explain a little bit more about that because if you actually if i make a movie like how can i how can i make somebody be a part of this like the you was telling me about the characters yeah so the movie ideally like with web3 it's the first time in history that you can kind of like put a bet on the upside of an artist so let's say as a, there's a as a filmmaker let's say you discover the next michael bay right you're like oh this guy's gonna be the next michael bay yeah that person uh releases an nft collection right for example so yeah. they release a collection and then now you can buy into that nft collection because you know that person in five years is going to be at another level mm. and you're kind of like you're kind of like betting on the upside it's i mean it's a risk at the end of the day but at the at the very at the essence of things you're also supporting the artist to get started to be able to you know you're right. like jump starting that artist to get to that next level right and um it's never been uh, available before i know we we have kickstarter which is like the web 2 version of what I'm re referring to. Oh, okay. So with a Kickstarter, you can, um, you know, reward your community right. that's supporting you with like producer credits, or you can do like, you you donate a hundred dollars, you get a shirt or whatever, like, you know, but, but you help fund the film. And with NFT collections, um, the beautiful part about it is that one, um, as a as a supporter, right? If you let's say you, let's say you spend a hundred dollars on buying an NFT, I'm just giving you a random number here, but to yeah. give you an example. So let's say you buy uh, an NFT for a hundred dollars, in five years it's worth ten thousand. So as a supporter, you supported him to get to the next level, but you can now sell that in ten years or five years and three years. So you've gotten something in return. Yeah, you know, and as the artist by having a collection so if you're a filmmaker right now and you're like you this is a great way for you to fund your film but also for you to have recurring revenue like throughout your career because um on the smart contract you can put a percentage that can go to you every time there's a transaction oh, wow. so like let's say you buy one of the nfts uh and you sell it tomorrow i get a small percentage of that each time and wow. it's the first time that's first time in history that's we can do that because you think about like a like a picasso painting like his kids are not getting any of that you know what wow I mean? yeah you know so like you uh, make a movie and like you said like you said you make a movie you're yeah. always gonna get it. it's crazy yeah so one of the one of the projects right now that you guys can look into is called mv3 mm. and mv3 is a they call it um i blanked out um what's it called story uh mv3 mv3 but like the what's the tagline uh become the story well uh -huh. let me um it'll come to me right now but um mv3 is a like a new sci-fi uh takes place in 2081 mm. and this the writer for the story is the same writer that wrote the story of 11 from stranger things oh wow yeah they will color they will color the the whisper the 11 whisper the 11 whisper yeah. yeah and uh she also has been she's worked on a lot of like everything she's written has been you know become a blockbuster so this is her new project oh, one wow. of her new projects mv3 it's an nft collection you can buy into the nft collection and when you buy into it you you get a character in the actual storyline yeah and you don't know what character you're getting you know Yet. the reveal is going to be in about a month yeah. so uh, <laughs> yeah so you, it's kind of like also a gamble because you, you might get you might get the the, the protagonist of the, of the film uh, 
and that might have more value based on the perceived value of the collection that's so interesting yeah <laughs> but you're betting on the upside that this artist which i strongly believe in um that is going to make a film that'll become like the next star wars next big ip so you know there's that's just like one case study yeah. you know and this mm -hmm. is just the beginning of things you know there's also a creator dial we spoke about it spoke about it yesterday mm -hmm. where if you're a creator let's say on youtube you can join a creator dial and the dial is it has a fund, right? And the fund is getting funded by all these streamers. So you say a small percentage of your streaming, um, of your streaming revenue goes back to the to the actual fund, and they help fund the next creator that that is. Uh, That's amazing. Yeah, that is on the come up, right? Uh, but at the same token, when you get funded, you get a you get a lump sum amount, so that way you don't have to go and shoot like. In this case, like for me, like when I started, I had to shoot weddings. Yeah. And, you know, like weddings are amazing. I love weddings. But it takes you away from maybe your North Star. There's some people that that that's their North Star. They want to shoot weddings, right? Mm -hmm. But there's some people like that want to do documentaries. I want to do like feature films or even short, even a short film. Right. That's true. So um, the creator DAO is something they can get, get involved in. And you can apply, and then the the community of streamers they vote on who's the next one to get on. Wow! Yeah, amazing. So that's actually something you could probably do for learn filmmaking. Yeah, that's, a, that, that's actually a great idea, yeah. to be honest. And because I, you know, I love to support creators. I always try to as, as even you know do as much as to that point that you know that's that's funds, right? And I do a lot of giveaways with you know if they. I feel like it goes with everything that I'm doing right now. I'm just adding more to it because yeah. I feel like that's something a lot of people need money to create a movie or they don't have the budget to create a short film. And it you know, might be two, three thousand dollars. But the thing is, we are creators, right? So we always we always could figure things out with, yeah. you know, sometimes it's like it's crazy. I would say this, like sometimes you have a budget right of ten thousand dollars. You could do so much with ten thousand dollars. Oh yeah, yeah. You could do so much, but at the same time, is that when you're working with a hundred k, five hundred k, and you're already doing this big type, big budget movies. Well, it depends what is in the movie or in the short film. Sometimes we, I'm gonna say, we complicate things, because now we have this big budget and we like, oh, we got this. So you start wasting money that is not even. Yeah, like you don't need to waste this money, yeah. but it's like, but the thing is, if you get this budget and it's limited, and it's like you could do what you could do with a hundred k, but you could do it with ten k. Yeah, that's just just to show you that being create being creative, you know, figuring things out. Like for example, there's always people that want to help you. You know, if you're always trying to bring somebody that it's like, oh, hey, you know, they could see the vision, you bring them on and they come up and they come they come and help you and then the end of the day it's like it's like maybe that's something that you don't even have to pay you know maybe you just have to pay the actors but the crew is all in line they already know that this is going to be a big you know a big hit so it's like you know it's all about being creative with the budget that you have and you know we're creators you know we could we figure it out yeah did you ever watch a uh, 10 minute film school by robert rodriguez no so don't. robert rodriguez uh he is a director of uh, i know robert rodriguez but yeah, yeah. i've never seen his so back in the days i'm talking about man early 2000s he so i think one of his first films was in mariachi if not if i'm not mistaken and he made that film with seven thousand dollars he made that film with seven thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah so he talks about after like so when you would buy the vhs or the dvd at the like the uh, extra chapters would have 10 minute film school which he would teach you like oh, how to be on a budget like how to get how to he, he would teach you ex exactly how mm -hmm. he got some shots how he got how he recorded his audio how he would light up his shots with like a, like a five dollar lamp yeah you know and um, when you see the film you have a, you have a, an appreciation for the way he shot it because he shot it on actual film mm. you know and film just to you know just the cost of film and to develop the film yeah he had to be like very intentional. So he was editing as he was shooting. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, like he's he, editing. He wasn't just like shooting a bunch of uh, video and then cutting. He so was like getting the shots and the way that they shoot in went. film. 
Yeah, well, he was shooting in film back then. Okay, so that means, yeah, because you can't, <laughs> you know how digital, you could just shoot, 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 yeah, shoot, shoot. No, no, yeah, you have to be. He was, like, he was very intentional with the way he was shooting. So going back to your saying about being creative, like he, he was actually one that inspired me to continue my filmmaking career. Because I got married at, at, at 17 and I had yeah. to like just, okay, I got to provide and filmmaking is not going to provide for me. Yeah. So I kind of like had to kind of like find a way to continue filmmaking. And when I saw one of his videos, I think this is like in 2004, 2003, I was like, okay, I can do it, man. I can, I can pull it. Like if the, if I can use that, like being like, just, I call it guerrilla style, mm -hmm. just be like guerrilla <laughs> style with my filmmaking, I can pull it off. And I've been, that's been the nature of the way I produce a lot of these, like the leaders create leader show we yes. did it we did it without a budget that's inspired yeah. by the way yeah you so know, that's it just that honestly i loved how you came up from you know you just how your your history it's just the way you just kept going and you kept believing in yourself you took risk and you didn't stop and yeah. that's one of the things why i like to you know share your story as well like you know it's it's amazing and thank you man appreciate that and i just want to share this too a lot i'm not sure if you already said it but like you know you was his teacher yeah yeah, was Rolando's teacher. yeah who yeah. would have thought and I, it's yeah. amazing though like when he told me yesterday i was just like that's a story to tell to be honest because yeah. you basically like the thing is it's like you saw him you know, you saw him and he, you know, and he saw, he saw that you guys could work together and you guys yeah. could build together and grow together. And that's the most beautiful thing is just reaching back and just knowing like, hey, you know, let's go together. Let's grow this together. Yeah. Rolando actually helped me film the episode with Gary Vee, which is one yeah, of the, the first, first episode. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, it was, one, right? well, it was, no, it was episode uh, four. But season one. Season one. Yeah. It was season one. And um, he, we're going to film it in Texas. <laughs> and he was living in Texas at the time. So I was like, hey, can you drive up to Austin? I'll make sure it's worth it. And uh, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so like who are you filming? Like, Gary Vee. Like, Absolutely. Gary Vee, at the time, Gary Vee wasn't who he is yeah, today. Yeah, he is, yeah. But um, I gave him, like, a background, like, Gary Vee was. And he's like, oh, fuck yeah, dude, let's go. <laughs> let's, go. <laughs> let's go. I love that. I love that. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was actually super nervous. Rolando was like, nothing. <laughs> oh yeah i was like I, I had no idea who this guy was before this so, so i was like, all right we just gotta shoot somebody and make sure it's fucking dope let's go and i love it i remember there was this one shot that we had like five seconds to get it's at the very end after the interview he he spoke directly to the camera he's like my name is gary v and you're watching leaders create leaders one take cut it and yeah. that's the shot that like probably oh my made the episode God. at the end just wrapped it up wrapped it up yeah, yeah. that's so. amazing by the way uh so i figured so you know when is your birthday January 27th. You know when it's my birthday? <laughs> no way, same day? <laughs> January 28th. Oh, wow, man. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. in the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. sir. And I, I was yeah. like, I remember that because I remember um, I did a post for you like a 2020 around there. Yeah, and I literally was like, wow, his birthday at the same time my birthday. I just remember yesterday, by the way, after, oh, wow, after we man. spoke. Yeah, yeah, and it's like. Wow, that's crazy. I just wanted to make sure that I was right. It was January 27 because it's, it's so cool because, you know, it gets to, you know, I could I could actually vibe with you and, you know, it's I could see, you know, like the way you help people. Yeah. I could see, you know, you're older than me, so I could see myself in you. Like you're just like, I'm just like doing the same thing here, helping other people just because I just love to help people. I love to yeah. serve. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> I actually spend a lot of years teaching, like not just not just um, like traditionally, like a traditional school, but like um, a lot of people would come to me without any, uh, well, like just wanting to learn, like like literally at like ground zero, like I want to learn how to shoot photos or I want to shoot, like just, just join me at this shoot, like come to this shoot. That's you know, so cool. And um, then the, the the amount of people that have um, developed, like have created businesses, yes, like from producers to studios, and um, it's just over, like it's just crazy. So man. you can like, relate, you can relate. Yeah, I can relate. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. That's why that's why I love like you're doing that. Like you know, this is you're big, you're building the biggest community <laughs> in the world. That's just mind blowing. But yeah, man, Thank like you, I. Brother. But it's at the end of the day, it's it's the same. Um, the ethos, the same, the same feeling. Mm. You know, and I love that feeling. I love the feeling that I, like when I could look at somebody and they could just be like, "Thank you," and I'm like, "Thank," like it's just like I just think I think about it. I'm like, "Thank," they thanking me, and I'm like, honestly, 
it's like you don't have to thank me because at the end of the day it's like i want somebody to do it for somebody else pay it yeah. forward pay it forward keep doing it keep doing it like i help you you help somebody else mm -hmm. it's the same thing you said about the creator the creator dao creator dao yeah yeah and that's, that's kind of it's similar like you're here you know investing in a creator and then it's like it's like it keeps going it keeps going it's like imagine how beautiful that is like how everybody's just gonna be helping each other helping each other so we all growing together we're yeah. all helping each other we are just like there's no stop and it's like and there's no jealousy we're just here just hey we are cheering i'm cheering for you i'm cheering for you you're winning you're winning we all winning that's it Amen. <laughs> that's that. what it's about man like it, it needs to not be like that it used to be the exact opposite. Like yeah. I remember having to find people to talk to about yeah. film. You know, I have one friend in Laredo where I'm from, Abel. Shout out to Abel, hey, <laughs> um, <laughs> that I could talk to about filmmaking. Um, everybody else is like, what do you, I mean, my two brothers also, but they were. It's uh, so hard. Yeah, yeah, they were. Yeah, and two other, they were doing other things. And it is lonely, and you know. I'm sh I'm sure we're coming to the end of the podcast, and I just want to say like, like don't give up on yourself. Like don't give up on yourself. Like and believe in yourself because you gotta believe in yourself first before somebody believe in your and believe in you. Amen. Yeah, right. You gotta believe in yourself before somebody believe in you. Because at the end of the day, like if you don't show that you believe in yourself, how can somebody actually invest in you? Right? Yeah. How can you make them feel comfortable or, or confident that? That's what you want to do. So don't give up on yourself. I know sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's dark. Sometimes you feel like nobody understands you. It's fine. <laughs> if you understand yourself and you know what you're doing, keep going. And yeah. then the day, it's going to make sense one day. Yeah. And that actually, like, and to add to that, it's just one of the main things that uh, we go through as artists. I, I mean, we're filmmakers, but artists in, in, in general. Yes is that uh, we're gonna be our own self, like we're self-critic. So yes. yep. um, just keep learning, keep applying yourself to to the craft. And yes. I think that's, at the end of the day, that's that's what's gonna, whether you believe in yourself at like a lot or sometimes you're, sometimes you're gonna be, be like, be overconfident some days and some days you're gonna be like, oh, I don't, I don't belong in this space. Definitely, definitely comes in waves. Yeah, it comes in waves. waves. So just keep, just keep, keep at it, keep yeah. at it. And then one project will lead you to another and you're gonna learn from every single mistake that you do <laughs> yes and learn from it yeah. I, I think i think everything that you if you did something that is not oh that this project didn't look the way you wanted it to look it's fine just keep doing just keep doing just just figure it out because honestly right here we all sitting down but we all been through it yeah we all gone through it mm -hmm. and it's like now we're sitting here just looking at each other and just actually sharing these stories and it's like because the struggles that's who we are we need the struggles i think we do need to struggle sometimes because and when you get things easy it's like you don't see you don't actually um cherish when you get to the top or you get to where you want to be it's like you're just i always remind myself like i know where i came from you know oh, yeah, so, man. and you know stay just know where you came from and just know that keep going but always reach back always help somebody else always you know like i say pay it forward yeah man and it's it, there's always new things you can learn every day there's always yeah, keep that curiosity mm, you yes. know keep, keep that curiosity um be the student continue to be the student and also teach others like teach yeah. others on the come up you know yeah find a way to reach out and um the the bigger your team is a lot of people think that if i teach somebody else something that i know they're gonna go and like you know do the thing well if, if that's the case that's that's great too it's okay but the bigger your team is you know the bigger your network is that's the big the bigger opportunity you're gonna get yes yes yeah, so yeah go out there guys network and if you're listening to this it's a sign don't stop just keep going <laughs> let's go yes let's go